So why am I standing here with my Ender 3? Well, the Ender 3 is a very good machine. It prints well, it um, is easy to use, and uh, it has uh, a good average size uh, built uh, plate, and it takes a little footprint uh, to have it. But there is something I did change on my Ender 3 here, and that is the extruder. It's not because I not was happy with the stock extruder from the Ender 3, because that works very well. But I heard about this uh, Bontech extruder, and um, I tried to buy one. So uh, let's see what's uh, in the box. I mean, the Bontechs, or what's called Bontech. Um, it's a dual drive uh, extruder and uh, it should give some benefits that you will not have the gears are skipping and you you get this layer skip uh, uh, that you can see in I have an example here you can see here you have uh, it has skipped some layers you can see it here as an example and this should be avoided with the Bontech uh, extruder the price is around 110 euros I, I got it for. So first of all you get a congratulation card and there is some uh, QR codes where you can uh, find the facts, there's a setup guide and uh, you do this on your smartphone. So and inside the box there is nothing. What? There's a sticker? Nah, guys, I already installed it because it was so easy to install. So I will show you. Um, so the inst in installation of the Bontech was very easy. And uh, it's fit here, it comes with a bracket. And you can even uh, use it together with an MK3 extruder and have a direct drive. I still use it here with my uh, with my Enter 3 uh, Bowden tube, and I want to show you some of the results I had when uh, when uh, I did uh, print with with this extruder. So the most fiddly part was yeah, I take another one here because you need you need on this uh, you see you have. I will try to zoom into it. I just need something to point with. You see, they have here. You have this yellow mark that tells you it is the extruder. And if you count from here, you need to switch wire one with wire four on the extruder. And that was the most fiddly part here. The rest was, matter of fact, very easy. So I will do that later. So, one of the things that I found out when I, I print the different types of uh, uh, filaments is how tight this should be. We will come back to that, because first we want to look on a gear. I printed, it's a belt gear, and this is the original size. And as you can see, it looks quite amazing. It's printed in PLA. And um, it came out very well. So I decided to print in 200% size. And of course, this also came out very beautiful, as you can see. And uh, nothing to come after here. Okay, PLL is very easy uh, material to work in. And another thing for, for uh, these three types of filament I will present you for today uh, is no post-processing at all, either on the big gear or the small gear. So this was uh, the PLA. Then I did in PET G. And again, the small gear came out very well. And um, it looks really great. So you can see the details are absolutely there. There is no stringing. It really works well. And the same with the, with the big gear. There's no stringing and it also looks 
gorgeous here in, in Pitching. But where I was most excited to, to use uh, this uh, uh, dual, dual drive was with, uh, with um, the flexible filament. And I made this small gear with Kung Fu Flex. It is quite flexible, as you can see. Here is an infill of 15%, so it's not that stiff. And the Kung Fu Flex is, let me see, I think I have a sample here. It is very, very soft, you see, and stretchable. And it is not easy to work with. I tried it with, with um, the other um, extruder and I didn't have success with it. So I printed the big gear. And look how beautiful. There is some stringing inside, but not a lot. You see here, look at this. It's amazing. It really works absolutely cool. When you work with um, these materials and uh, the dual drive, the, the Bond Tech, you have to adjust the pressure on the filament. And there is also, there is a load script. You can find that on the Bond Tech uh, homepage. There is a load and an unload script that is easy to use because the technology here and, and, and how the gears are connected makes it almost difficult to push it in. You can, of course, wrap up and push, but it's not a good solution. So when I print PLA and PETG, I turn this totally down, and you see I'm always down, all the way down, and maybe open up just one turn. That's when I run the PETG, and the same for ABS and PLA. If I run the flexible filament, like this one here, I turn it totally up, like this. So it's almost loose and tighten it just so it starts. I feel that it is here, but it's still flexible here. And that's it. Then I use my load script. I made a load script that is special for, for the flex filament because you cannot run with the same speed as you can do with the PLA or the PET-T. So I, I took one that is loading and take a little bit more longer time, but it's really running marvelous inside through the Bowden tube to the nozzle and it works absolutely perfect. Next we will go to is the settings of the different uh, filaments and I will show you how I use this with my uh, Bond Tech uh, extruder. So let's take a look on the uh, specs and the specs for the PLA is I use uh, retraction 6.5 millimeter Retraction speed I use 40 millimeters per second. The layer height on this print is 0.2 millimeters and I print it at temperatures at 200 degrees and 50 degrees uh, on temperature on the bed. Cooling at the first layer has I set to off and the second layer it is 100%. Uh, Speed 50 millimeters per second. You probably could do much higher, uh, and no doubt it was uh, because I forgot to to enter. But uh, I will probably with with the Pontec run 80 to 90 millimeters per second. So for the um, PET G, I use a retraction on uh, 6.3 millimeters. Uh, the retraction speed will be 40 millimeters per second. Layer height on this print was 0.2. Temperature on the nozzle was 245 degrees, and the temperature on the bed was 80 degrees. Cooling on the first layer I have set to off, and the second layer 100% again. And speed 60 millimeters per second. So, and it came absolutely gorgeous. Now fall to the uh, Kung Fu Flex filament. Here I have the retraction set to 1.5 millimeters and the retraction speed is 30 millimeters per second. The layer high is 0.2 millimeters. 
I have set the nozzle to 230 degrees and the bed to 50 degrees. Cooling again, first layer off, second layer 100%. The print speed here is 35 millimeters per second. I have no problem to go to 40 millimeters, I think. And again, I want to remind that this uh, flexible filament here has not been printed, uh, has not been post-processed at all. Uh, the stringing you see just inside is very, very little. So, all in all, I'm happy with the Bontech uh, dual, dual drive ex extruder. Uh, it helped me a lot on the flexible filament and that was also the purpose for it. I also see on the PET G, it, it also looks absolutely gorgeous. And if you look on the bottom, on all three, but in fact, also, uh, it, it lays down the filament really, 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 really nice. So, um, yeah, I will recommend to use the Bond, uh, Bond Tech uh, extruder for the Enter 3. So, yeah, I will continue make some fun stuff. See you another time, another day. Happy printing and bye-bye. Uh,